You told me more than once to show you my intention. I thought I'd create a video or a PowerPoint slide type of video. There are different ways of doing it and this is just one way of doing it. Firstly, obviously you create your new presentation as you normally would, um, as if you're just doing a normal slide. Secondly, add your content, design it the way you want. When you've completed your PowerPoint presentation, you can save it. Um, just in case you need to make any changes later, don't forget to save that as a document, as a PowerPoint um, only when you've finished doing what, what content you want on there. Step number four, you click on the slideshow at the top of your options bar. Um, if you're not used to PowerPoint, you have the ribbons at the top that say, you know, what you do. And you click on slideshow as if you're going to present the slideshow. Um, and some other options appear. Click on record slideshow. Now this option usually appears around the middle of the band at the top where you have several options and there's a red spot where it says record slideshow. So you click on that. It won't record straight away, so don't panic. <laughs> Just click on it. And then you can click the red record button. So once you've clicked on record slideshow, it will start presenting um, your slideshow. It won't start recording until you click on the red record button when you're ready. To, to start recording. It gives you three second countdown, three, two, one, go, and then you start recording. You can always edit later on. Um, um, talk through your slides. So you need to move the slides on just as if you were presenting to an audience. So you click to move the slide on and then you talk through each slide with your, like I'm doing now with your picture at the bottom. Don't forget, to not look at yourself like if I'm looking at my own picture obviously I'm not connecting with my audience look at your camera um, and not at your picture like this because if you're doing this obviously it doesn't look very good you need to look at your um, audience in eye to eye by looking at your camera like I'm doing now um, so when you finish, you've completed, you've gone through all your slides, you've got to the end. Don't forget the end bit that says, have you got any questions or thanks for listening? Don't forget your final slide. Go through all your slides, talk through them all, and then you click stop button. I think it says stop recording or stop. Just, I don't know. There's a stop button on there anyway when you've completed your recording. Um, save as a PowerPoint presentation. Now, this is the important bit. First, save it as normal. Just save it as you automatically would save it. You can save it as a second version in case you need to um, track back to your original version. I would save it again as another version with and call it with video or something like that so that you know the difference between your original slides, the slides only without the video. Then record it with your video in case you need to do it again. Always save it again as another option just in case. Um, you're not happy with it and you want to try it again. Step number 10, click save as. Um, don't just click save, click save as. Select and it's quite far down. You have to scroll down the really big long list of different versions, that different ways of saving your file. You need to save as the MPEG-4 video. So that's MPG-4. You've heard of MP3. This is MP3 4 and it's a video format for your presentation. Now, this is um, a better way of saving your video so that you can get, you can then upload it to YouTube. You can send it as a video to your staff, um, your careers leaders or your students. You can send it wherever you like and it's a complete video. That person will not be able to alter your slide as it is a complete video. Mission complete enjoy watching your own video, make any changes at the end if you're not happy with it. Thanks for listening. Hope that helped.